this is it where it all began talk about humble beginnings the ford piquet factory where the very first model t rolled out the thing about henry ford is he was a pioneer and an explorer they are the kind of people who go to places and do things that other people would be scared to do speaking of explorers And welcome to Power Drift Motor Show updates right here straight from Detroit where Glenn is covering the North American International Auto Show 2019. Now this coverage is brought to you by Michelin Tires which enables us to bring you what's hot out there, well in case of Detroit what's cold. Now in the year 1991 when Ford released its first Explorer as a Bronco 2 replacement where the four door version instantly became popular. So popular that it didn't just outsell its competition by a huge margin but it also played a crucial role in making SUVs one of the primary choices of families even today. And so here we have now the sixth generation of this trend setting machine the 2020 Ford Explorer. completely redesigned from the inside and outside. So when you look at it, the first thing that comes to your mind is its Range Rover-esque front grille and then its overall bold persona. Now bigger but lighter than the previous generation, this mid-size SUV packs a lot of bells and whistles, especially inside the new cabin. But out of all its features, the one thing that is pulling the most eyeballs is its vertical 10.1 inch infotainment touchscreen that looks more like a mobile phone and well, it's pasted onto the dash and Ford claims that because it looks like a mobile phone, its vertical placement, the screen will feel more natural to mobile using generation. Now the redesigned interiors are more spacious and accessible featuring wireless charging, a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster that supports Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and well even Alexa, that's interesting. You can even ask Alexa to open the rear tailgate. The Explorer will be using Mustang's 2.3 litre inline for EcoBoost engine that produces 300 horses, 420 Nm. 420 Nm of torque and a bigger 3 litre twin turbo V6 that will churn out whatever 365 horses, 516 Nm of torque. Now both the engines will be mated to 10 speed transmission system and features Ford's rotary shift mechanism. Be warned, don't mistake that for your volume dial. Now Ford has been very vocal about Ford Copilot 360 Drive Assist that provides uh, lots of varied safety features like pre-collision assist, blind spot indication, rear view camera with lens watch, automatic headlamps and auto high beams etc. Overall Ford seems to be very excited and so am I with the latest iteration of this mid-size SUV that will hit the road mid-2019 and its chances of coming to India then are pretty non-existent. Don't let that make you unhappy and stay with us for our NAIAS Detroit Auto Show updates right from Detroit Auto Show. And also don't forget to comment on which feature did you like about this car the most in the comment section below and you will stand to win Michelin tires, a fresh set of Michelin rubber. Thanks a lot. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to see you very soon. Goodbye guys. Ciao.